Okay, on. let's play Inyo de Bingo. The cameras are on. You can watch this on the Radium website. Get it on your phone. Uh, if you're doing loads of work today, just use this as a little break from work. It's time to make another celebrity wet. This is Inuendo Bingo. Here is Fer McCann and her debut on Innuendo Bingo. Okay, so I'll ask you both to take a lot of water. What's wrong? (laughs) Sorry, I was just wondering when we're going to take the water. You're so tense about this. I feel really tense. You know, right, once the first one's over with, then you're in the game. Okay. All right? Don't worry. Uh We're we're here to help. You're very dressed up for this as well, it feels. Mm. I'm just putting some jeans and a hoodie and you're... I've got a change of clothes and I'll come straight from my, my... We'll come straight from this morning. Yeah. yeah. So you look quite cans. You look fabulous, darling, mm. actually. Thanks, um, guys. Okay, water, please. Lots of water, as much as you can fit in the mouth. First, we're going over to Spring Watch. Always a rich source of clips for innuendo bingo. Lolo Williams, though, really needs to realise that sometimes when you think something, you really shouldn't say it out loud. Are you ready? There you go. Go on it. There you go, look. Good girl. She goes straight back on. Straight back. Brilliant. I have to say, I do like shags. <laughs> <laughs> There's a type of bird there, of course. Uh, the shags. That's what they're called. I'm not say, I do like shags. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be fine with this game, Fern. More water, mm. please. And as I'm we go. I'm drenched in... already. I know. I'm really not. I, I feel just, it. Wait, wait till the end. More country life now on This Farming Life on BBC Two. Now, Martin is preparing for a big show. But I tell you, with an attitude like this, you will not be winning anything. What we've got here is just young stocks. We're never really going to win a championship because they're young. If we're in the top half of our class, we'll be happy with that. Unlike John, Martin doesn't have high expectations for his bulls. <laughs> 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 Thank you to Stuart for sending us that one. If you spot any clips for Inyo de Bingo, email them over to scott.mills at bbc.co.uk. Poor Martin. Unlike John, Martin doesn't have high expectations for his balls. <laughs> <laughs> Good noise at the end. Water, please. Right. Next, we've got a classic clip from I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, featuring you, Fermacan. Now, I can't believe you didn't scream, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, when this happened, Fern. When you said you're over halfway, I thought, well, I've come this far. Yeah. Just stay I there. might as well. But the one that come on my face and under my nose and around my neck, I thought... <laughs> <laughs> I can't even... I don't even know what to say. <laughs> you don't, don't, probably best not to say anything. <laughs> You've already what said you it. Thinking? That's amazing. I don't, Actually, don't wait, say. Can, can you play that again? Sure. Because the I one can't... that come on my face and under my nose and around my neck, I thought... <laughs> <laughs> Classic. It was after a trial. We've played, uh, of course, we've played, <laughs> we've played that a lot of times on uh, on this show. Have you? Uh, so many. <laughs> it's one of our best ones. Water, please. Oh wait, I didn't even spit it out. Oh wait. Hang on. Yes. Now. Mm. Sorry. What did he say? Mm. I think it's all good. Can you say it again? No, it's all right. Is it an inside joke? Not at all. It's not really. It's just something he does. When yeah. he gets excited, he goes, yeah. I'm, I'm enjoying this. Ah. Now, Fern. This top is... You know George Clark's Amazing Sheds? It's a great uh-huh. show on telly. Water, please. Yeah. Now, Fern, from reading your book, I know you've seen a lot. But have you ever seen anything like this? This impressive erection employs a wooden platform propped up by four hefty oak posts. <laughs> <laughs> propped how, up? How are people actually saying this? Because mm. it's an amazing shed. This impressive erection employs a wooden platform propped up by four <laughs> hefty oak posts. That is impressive, isn't it? It's <laughs> <is> mighty. <laughs> a mighty. <laughs> Water, please. You enjoying this, Fern? I yeah. keep forgetting to. I'm just in sheer shock that people are actually saying this. And I, keep I know. Forgetting to mm-hmm. it out. Don't worry. You're doing well. Now it's Australia with Simon Reeve on BBC One. 
always amazes me what Simon's prepared to do on camera. Even when an Australian man he's never met before tells him to do this. Leave it there for three or four seconds. Let it move around your mouth. Let it warm up in your mouth and it'll release more flavour. Yeah, as something gets warmer, it releases more flavour. <laughs> no, 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 swallow, swallow. It's much better that way. I thought you were supposed <laughs> to spit it out. <laughs> 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 Wine tasting in Australia there with Simon Reeve. Thank you to Jeremy for sending that one in. No, no, no swallow, swallow. <laughs> it's much better that way. I thought you were supposed to spin it out. And now we're going to Gogglebox on Channel 4. Love that show. One of the great things about Gogglebox is that it really does give you a fantastic insight into people's everyday lives. Listen to what Dave gets up to behind his wife's back. If there's a bar of chocolate, they go mm. to eat it. Yeah. Chris had four faggots the other night. Four faggots? One night. <laughs> what, with peas and that? No. Peas. <laughs> Traditional Welsh dish faggots there. Most commonly made from pork. <laughs> Thanks to Scott and Bev for sending that one in. <laughs> Oh, I'm so it's getting wet now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How are you though? Quite full on. Yeah, I'm okay. You're mainly aiming down. I wore the worst top. Yes, it is I a white think. top, Fern, but never Thanks mind. Thanks for, uh, for the warning, guys. Do you want to wear my jumper? You can have my jumper if you want. I'm happy to be a gentleman about it. No? I mean... Decide quickly. No, we're, no, we're all right. We're all right. We've only got a couple more. Fine. Finally, we're going over to... Uh, not finally. This is one of the final ones. We're going over to the only way... <laughs> <laughs> it's because I said final too many times. We're going over to the only way is Essex. On ITV, whatever it's on now. Encore? What is it on? B. Mm. One of them. One of them. B. B, thank you. Bobby is on a first date. Now, Fern, you know what it's like on the show. You're being filmed everywhere you go. Mm. Would you be happy if they filmed you doing this? Do I put four fingers in or two? Only two. <laughs> <laughs> what is he up? <laughs> they were doing a pottery class <laughs> on TOWIE, of course. Do I put four fingers in or two? Only two. <laughs> and finally... Come on, Wait, right, last one, Fern, let's go big. Okay. One of our favourite ever clips from Simon Mayo on BBC Radio 2. Simon gets away with telling stories on there that would never be allowed on Radio 1. Bought a couple of bottles of bottle conditioned stout from the market for myself and went to a cheese stall to get something for my wife. Now she's partial to a bit of blue vein. <laughs> <laughs> and that was today's Innuendo Bingo what up, Fern? with Fern McCann. You did Thanks, a good coach. job, Fern. Thank you. Um, you are pretty wet right now, yeah. I am. Thanks for coming in. One.